Hey guys, coming back to you with another video showing you some crazy tips that most people don't know. So this first one, you're going to run up to a rail, look up, and then back down, and you'll go right over it. Now if you were to jump, so here you can see my stamina bar, see how it's in the green? You can jump over it, but it took a lot of stamina. So I'm going to be running, look up, and back down, and over. And look up, and down, and I'm over. Now, essentially you're able to use no stamina by using that. This next one is also extremely useful, especially for people like me that like to hoard as much as I can, but I also want to get out as much as I can out of my gamma. It's a one slot and can hold multiple slots with various different scopes and flashlight. Now for this you need three things. First is an AK-74 gas tube. I'll search here, I'll grab that. Next thing you're going to want to get is an X-47 tactical hand guard. Once again, I'm just going to search here, grab that. I'll leave it here for a second just so you can see it. And the last one you're going to need is an NC Star MPR-45. Then you're going to smash those three together and turn it into a one slot item, kind of like smashing that like button. And here I'll quickly show you how to put it together. Hand guard into gas tube and then put the mount on. Put it in your gamma. Good to go. You can use multiple in your gamma. I recommend only using one. You can always insure it and drop it if you need to. If you find like a line or something you want to replace with it, just drop it on the ground. It's insured. You're going to get it back. If not, you can always just rebuild it. And here I'm just going to show you real quick on just how much you can put on here. It's actually insane how much you can put on there and it does depend on what you put on will depict if you can add an extra sight or flashlight. But there you go. This next one if your inventory is getting too full you can't seem to buy anything get a thick case put in these rigs. You can use other rigs or alternative but this is the one that I find to be the most convenient to store the maximum amount of items. You can switch out those belts for alphas. It'll store less items but have a different type of slots like three long or squares. But ultimately this will give you the best bang for your buck. You can just slowly add items into it as you need the space. It becomes a little bit inconvenient when you're trying to find things. However, keep in mind this is more of a pack rat type mentality you can just literally load this thing up, which unfortunately I do tend to hoard way too much. Anyways, on to the next one. You ever wonder why some mags are extremely cheap and others cost a fortune? This is why. Each one has its own statistics. You want to go ahead and right click and inspect on all of them. And that way it'll tell you which one is best suited for you. Obviously different ones come at a cost. Sometimes having more rounds is better than just not being able to reload quicker but you ultimately you're having 60 instead of the 30. As this video progresses the tips become a little bit more common. This one I'm going to show you bartering and why you should be bartering over purchasing certain items. Almost every item that's bartered can be purchased at a significantly cheaper cost. Say Grizzlies which I would recommend using over a heal option at the end of raid. One gives you XP you go into your hideout or not hideout your inventory and you heal at the end of your raid with the grizzly now these grizzlies are gonna range thirty dollar or thirty thousand sometimes all the way up to forty thousand I've gotten them as cheap as twenty but a lot of times when they are cheaper also these items are cheaper here we have the UV go here these are selling nine to nine point five gas analyzer selling twelve to fifteen so right there alone you're saving a significant amount of money. This is just one of the various other items that you can buy. I'll show a few more here. But go through. You can go to each trader. And you can click on the barter tab. This will show you what items are available for barter. You can click on them see what they have. Some items are significantly more expensive. Most of them are cheaper. Um, you just keep going through and it's not just one every trader has barter items but you can see there are certain items that are significantly cheaper uh, for instance this is a very very cheap item 
and you can get that for a uh, huge savings. So you look here, filter, these are at 37, then you go, I think I have one of those, yeah, here we go. So right there, this is 21k compared to the 37. You're saving pretty good money on just one magazine, and that's a magazine that you're probably going to have two to three going into raid. So keep that in mind whenever you're buying an item. Check out barters. What I tend to do so it doesn't become overwhelming is I'll go trading. I'll try to find a few items that I know that I really want to buy on a regular basis, like grizzlies and um, maybe some mags or whatnot. So I'll just go over to the barter system, find a few things that I know that I buy on a regular basis and just basically I'll buy them up and keep those items when I get them and I'll throw them in my um, scavenger box and then I'll trade them later. But now this next one kind of ties in with the other with bartering. You can click on an item that you know that's being bartered for uh, maybe a limited item. So it's coming up once every two hours. So toothpaste, for instance, is one of those. I've seen it sell as low as 10, 8 to 10K, and it's selling as high as 90K. But keep that in mind, especially on the weekends, those items tend to fly off the shelf at uh, that reset mark. Thank you for staying to the end. That pretty much wraps up this one. In the comments below, if you could let me know if there was something that you were able to gain out of this and exactly how many tips and tricks you found here. Maybe there's something you know that I didn't show or just didn't, maybe I don't know myself. Anyways, if you want to be notified for more information when I post, hit the subscribe button with the bell and you'll be notified next time I post a video. Also, whenever you hit like on the video, it helps grow my channel significantly. So both are very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more content.